Hi there guys, I am Mouse and welcome back to Project Cars. So we've got uh, what an interesting lineup uh, tonight for you guys. And I've decided let's play a bit on uh, Catalonia. So we ended up with this badass turbo. So next up is the Le Mans kind of cars. The 219D LMP2 and the LMP1. Then we've got the McLaren 12C. The GT3 version of it and the P1 which is, should be exciting because uh, I believe it's a hybrid so let's uh, let's have a quick look at this one's specs 193 miles per hour top speed triple four horsepower three seconds 0 to 100 pretty decent not bad at all so let's see what it actually does Right, so very interesting interior and immediately what well, I can pick up such a nice turbo sound. Oh yes, very nice. Nice direct steering, good handling so far. But what's nice is we don't have a rear view mirror, we've got a rear view camera, which uh, is quite awesome actually. But acceleration isn't too bad. Brakes are decent. And uh, I can see the dog wants to get in on the action as well. It's looking at the steering wheel like, what the fuck? But overall, so far, this car, pretty decent. Uh, it's got nice handling acceleration and it's got a fun factor to it on those tight corners it steps out quite easily but let's listen to the outside see now this isn't that wonderful it doesn't really sound that great from the outside it sounds actually better inside than outside which is surprising as I hit it against the wall but I think let's uh, have a quick look at the next one right so next up we've got the LMP1 which has 566 horsepower 210 top speed 2.59 seconds 0 to 100 rear wheel drive mid V8 versus the rear wheel drive straight 4 I believe which was the previous one and this hat is on hanging on for dear life. It's just a, a shame that they don't really make the hats big enough to fit over earphones. Come on. Think, people, think. Right, so this one, again, rear view camera instead of an uh, actual mirror. But quite fun. Unfortunately, we've got a shitty steering wheel again. Really, people? Come on. This is uncool. Really. It's so not nice. Acceleration is great. Uh, steering is wonderful. Very direct and responsive. Handling is excellent. And so far it seems like the brakes are working quite so uh, well as well. But it does have that a bigger fun factor than the previous one where on these tight corners it steps out quite easily actually. See this one? Whoop! A little twitch as I hit the curb. But it's stuck. It's very nice. Let's see, we're doing 270, break at the 100 marks, and we make the corner. Not bad. It's uh, this is outside. This one sounds very interesting. Oh, yes. Got a bit of more of a grunt to it. Have to be a little gentle on the throttle as you exit the corner. But other than that, excellent. It's not the 
big as uh, turning circles like a classic cars that we had previously. It does actually turn properly. Awesome car. I must admit it's lovely. I enjoy this one a lot and that brakes. If you brake like that in real life, you'd have like two wet spots on the windshield on the inside where your eyes should have been. But next up, we've got the 12C. So what do you've got in store for us? 616 horsepower, 207 miles per hour top speed. Nice. Also again a rear wheel drive mid V8. 3.1 seconds acceleration. Not bad. Let's see if it actually does something. Right, so this one has got a nice interior. A little bit more modern. Oh crap. Straight off the bat the acceleration is quite shitty. Got a little bit of a drift through there. But holy shit. That understeer. Maybe it's just a fluke. Let's see. No, it's not. I mean, you guys can see how much I'm turning that steering wheel and it just keeps on going fucking straight. Acceleration is okay. Not as uh, well as the, the previous car. But overall, I mean, the brakes on that first corner was pretty shitty. Let's see if we get another little bit of a straight and then break. Oh yeah, no. This car is not well suited for a track at all. It sounds nice from the outside though. But, oh shit. Forgot this thing doesn't have brakes. Ow. This is gonna hurt, but just the visual. Oh, yes, that does hurt. Hey, nope. Overall, not such a great car actually. So I think let's just uh, keep on going. Next up, so let's see if the GT3 version is a little bit better than the original 12C. So this one doesn't have such a big high uh, top speed. But it's got 496 horsepower, 3.2 seconds acceleration. And they're saying the braking is 1.75 seconds. So we'll see if that's the case. Right, so this one's got a more space age kind of dash. Acceleration doesn't look too bad. Brakes as well. Steering is great. Very direct. Very responsive. Handling so far looks okay. We'll see a bit later on that. But overall, immediate improvement on the previous version. Still a little bit of understeer through there. But not bad. Let's see what it does here. Oh yes, the brakes have really improved a lot. Doesn't really want to step out though. Uh, let's see, second gear, flip, punch, nothing. Ouch. Scraping the underside there. Eh, sounds horrible. But that does not sound horrible. Wow. You can still hear a faint turbo in it. Let's see, breaking at the 100 mark. just overshot the corner but we still s sort of made it acceleration isn't too bad well that'll twitch yeah smash that record or that board It looks nice from outside. Uh, 
But still, a lot of understeer as soon as you start accelerating. So, also, not that great. Let's have a look at the next one then. Right, so let's have a look at the P1. 906 horsepower, 227 miles per hour top speed. Wow. That is a lot. 2.5 seconds. Not bad. But braking is also 2.7 seconds. Shit, so it accelerates faster than it actually brakes. Uh, doesn't look good. Right, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking whoa! Okay, modern interior. Not really keen to actually slow down when you accelerate. Or actually get traction. I mean, fucking third gear. This thing is still spinning around. Fourth gear. And I still struggle to keep it straight. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. Still hear the turbo though. Steering is nice. It's it's comfortable. It's it's not as direct and doesn't give that much feedback. But it's it's comfortable. So far it seems like the handling is okay. It's not the greatest in the world. It's uh, just this drift factor of spinning around a corner in fourth gear really acceleration is great though i mean 270 to 80 to 90 and brake and we overshot the corner entirely so brakes is but shitty and this thing just wants to get to 200 like immediately fuck traction and physics it just wants to get there instantly I mean, I just put my foot down. No popping the clutch, no flipping, nothing. It's just me flooring it in fourth gear around the corner and it still spins out. Very twitchy under the braking as well. Hey, come back. Baby, come back. So we definitely got a container for the drift seats. Ah! Didn't get the clutch in time, okay? What does it sound like outside? Sounds good. Sounds very good. But... I just cannot... See, there it starts twitching and sliding under the braking. But I just cannot get over this power with the torque of it just nope anyway i wonder actually what will santa slay team do so i must admit i actually enjoyed this lp lmp1 so i think uh, let's have a quick lap around the track and see what santa slay team can do with this car Wow, so Santa's sled team kicks ass. They were amazing. So that's actually it for this episode. I, uh, I really enjoyed these cars. That P1 really surprised me. It's, I think they should just tr maybe try and get some bigger, wider tires at the back. A little bit of different compound maybe, softer compound might help. 
because they've got traction issues. But that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you did like the video, hit that like button and subscribe. Then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.